Richard Pascoe on 1395, Adelaide's 5AA. At 12.53 here on 5AA. Lovely to talk to people when they come wandering in the building. People just come past. <laughs> Can I come in? And I say, yes, why not? Why not come in and uh, have a bit of a chat? Now, my next guest is Laura, and she is from Ambient Menu. Hello, Laura. Hi, thanks for having me. No, it's a pleasure. Thank you for coming in. Laura, Ambient Menu. Yes. Tell me all about it. Well, it's a website that guides the people of South Australia to quiet eateries where they can relax, engage, be social without straining to hear. It's a very simple idea. Yes. But I, I, I like it. <laughs> just sit forward. Just come forward a bit for there me. We go. So, yes. Then people have got to hear you. Okay. Uh, which is what it's all about. Um, I must admit, I don't like noisy places. Mm hmm. Yes. You know, so I, I thought, I thought, that's a great idea because sometimes you go in a place and they've got all wooden floors on there. Exactly. Everything's clunking and you stand there and you have to start yelling to the people, um, just to be, just to be heard. Absolutely. So some restaurants can get, you know, quite lively. Yep. Some restaurants have noise levels that are equivalent of dining next to a lawnmower. Yes. So it doesn't actually make for very easy conversation because, you know, the food in South Australia is amazing, but we it don't is. just go out to eat. We go out to engage and be social. So it's all about finding those eateries that you can see your friends and hear them too without straining to hear, without that, you know, hubbub, background yep. noise overwhelming the conversation that you're there to have with the people you haven't seen for a while. How did you measure, how do you measure the sound? So there's two different ways that we do it. So the ambient menu is based on diner reviews. So when people dine in an eatery they leave a review afterwards on the website it takes 30 seconds so quiet is like dining in a house low still pretty easy to have a conversation moderate is a bit more raising your voice straining to hear a little bit and lively is yeah equivalent noise we'll level start going yelling to at the, the top of it yeah that's it just to go along and be heard it's like going to the grand prix you know it's you know it's got a great vibe for some people yep. but if you have hearing loss a noise sensitive for whatever reason or you business meeting date nights neurodiverse people if you've just had a rough day at the end of the day when you're tired you just don't have the increased concentration to strain to hear you tune out without you know within five minutes and i've got to say especially for some of our older population out there yes. who, who struggle sometimes to you know to hear and in a group you'll go Laura, I know Laura said something, but I'm not quite sure what she said at yes. that time. Yes, so I struggle in background noise. As we get more mature, it is natural to, you know, start to lose our hearing or the ability to process sound when we're in background noise. So I myself, you know, struggle in background noise, and a few times I've just been nodding and agreeing with someone at the dinner table and yep. hoping I just haven't asked to donate a kidney. Go, yeah, sure, <laughs> I'll do that. I was just going to say, yeah. just agreeing. They stand something. up at the end. They go. Can I have the thousand dollars now? To go what? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Wait, that, what I said halfway through. You nodded and agreed. Yeah. So people are either polite and just nod, or they just tune out because that increased concentration. Yeah. You can't maintain it that long, especially yeah. if you're noise sensitive or a harder hearing. Do you think restaurants are? attuned to noise sometimes or not? Well, there's some fun facts behind it. So it all depends on who they're targeting. Who do they want to serve? So we don't like using, you know, like negative words like noise. We say words like lively. So the places that purposely make themselves out to be lively are probably trying to attract, you know, the younger groups that seek that vibe. Yep. Once you get to a point that you need to raise your voice, uh, that is about 71 decibels and that is when the sympathetic nervous system kicks in yeah. so you get the increased heart rate the increased blood pressure if you equate that with like a positive experience you go that was a vibe well, I don't know whatever young people say <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that young anymore um, but if you know you're noise sensitive or just want easy conversation that becomes a negative experience for you that increased heart, heart rate the increased blood pressure it's a negative thing you just want to turn and leave 
experience. So, yeah, it's all about catering for the people that want that relaxing experience rather than the people that are seeking out that, you know, sympathetic nervous system, yeah. heart racing, blood pumping vibe. So, yeah, indoor or outdoor, what's worse? It depends. Um, so I've found some lovely restaurants that are actually quieter indoors than outdoors. Um, so if you're indoors, obviously look for places with soft furnishings, uh, you know, curtains, tablecloths. Those soft things can absorb some of the sound. Right. And, you know, uh, for example, Oceanique at West Beach, they're not accredited, but whenever I've dined there, it is more lively on the balcony because, uh, you've got glass windows, you've got tiles on the floor, you've got a veranda with a ceiling that's quite close. So that sound just ricochets around. Even though it's outside, you would think it would actually go outside into the open yeah. air, but it just stays in a space. So I was just going to say that, you know, a place like that, yes. um, do they, do they con- have they just built it and it's just a side benefit go, you know, we're not that noisy? Or do, are they, are they, I don't are know because I haven't do, asked them. Are but- people building, you know, eateries and restaurants that when we go out to go, you know, I want this to be a quiet establishment. Yes, and that is where the ambient menu accreditation comes in. So I'm using my knowledge. Uh, I work as an audiologist, so I'm using my acoustics knowledge for- acoustics yeah. knowledge from audiology and I'm also doing some work to be an acoustic consultant as well and we accredit venues that are consistently rated as quiet or low and that is when they can apply to be accredited by myself and I can say that Hut and Soul which is just around the corner here yeah. a beautiful place was designed by their head chef and owner um, Lucius to be quiet he's a um, he's got a background in engineering himself and he designed it perfectly to have that easy conversation because he wanted to create that place where you can come, connect, relax, enjoy the amazing food Um, because he has also he also knows the science that once background noise gets to a certain level, it actually affects your sense of taste. So, oh, you know, okay, yes, there's some fun facts. Wow. Mm. Faith, I'm just trying to work out how it would do that. I mean, that's just, yeah. I can't remember. Uh, I spoke to an acoustic consultant. Um, uh, he's in Victoria now. He did his PhD at Flinders University on how sound affects your sense of taste. He'd be the expert on that one. Okay. But yeah, I'll always have a bit to read dodgy when some of the, I always think it's a bit, no, I'm not having a shot. Where <laughs> we get people from universities, they'll call it, <laughs> I'll study how sound affects people's taste on there and they're thinking, yes, surely he could have done something else. Oh, the he's, time. he's very dedicated. Okay. Yes. All right. When you find your passion, you do something with it and you do some research and you turn it into a PhD. It's very interesting. Um, so how do people get accredited? So they reach out to myself on the ambientmenu.com.au or our socials. My email address is laura at ambientmenu.net and I can come and assess them. And so part of the acoustic accreditation is when I go in and I assess your noise level 24-7. There's a lot of things that are taken into account. And from that, I can tell you your peaks and, you know, so your yeah. um, peaks and troughs in noise level, where the most conversation-friendly place is to sit in that eatery. Yeah. So when anyone rings up and says, I'm with the ambient menu, they know the quieter seat in the house, they know where to sit you, and they also know to give those diners a heads up if there is a large group that night because if there's a massive group that night, people have a few drinks, they get louder, louder it and may louder. not be That's too it. quiet. So they yeah. do give Good you luck, a Melbourne heads Cup up. Day. <laughs> and they're going to be going out to dine. Good heavens, everybody's noisy on there. That, yeah, that will not be a quiet experience if you want to have a romantic, you know, lunch or a business yeah, no, day. On not that a, day. Nobody does a Melbourne Cup Day. It's how many drinks? We'll have some food, bet, fall about. You know, yeah. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying everybody does that, people. Um, 
Now, when you're going out doing this, yes. how many free lunches have you had? <laughs> no, 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 no. So that's the whole point. I yeah, am good. not an influencer. I am, you know, distracting myself from that. Um, I'm here to support restaurants that support conversation. So you'll not see me saying, I'll come and accredit you if you give me a free yeah. meal. That is not what we do. And um, so I can assess the acoustics, yeah. but I do have uh, Amanda McInerney from Lamb's Ears and Honey. She's got a master's in gastronomy. So she assesses the food so yeah. she makes wow sure, there yeah, we go yep so she'll make sure that it's high quality worth going out for before yep. you walk in not like on kitchen nightmares <laughs> i haven't <laughs> seen that for a while but no, no. i can't imagine no, amanda Colin swearing fascinating job there i always enjoy those shows uh, so laura where do we go to find out all about restaurants that we should be going to when yes. we want a quiet experience. You go to the ambientmenu.com.au and we have a search function on the homepage. You search by entering low or quiet and enter and all the places that have been rated by other diners as that low or quiet will pop up in front of you. You can search by suburb, you can search by cuisine type, but the search function on background noise is the key ingredient of our website. And the places that have been accredited in South Australia are also on the front page as well. So you know straight away that they've been acoustically assessed and they've been educated in where to sit you if you ring up and say you saw them through the ambient menu. Very, how many have you done? Three. So how many, but how many restaurants? On, let uh, me on, guess. It is updating every day thanks to our wonderful restaurant reviewers. Yeah. Anyone can leave a review. We also have a reward system as well. So when you leave 20 reviews on the website, you get a $50 voucher to be spent back into the restaurant industry to thank you for well, building good. our community and building our network. So it's a website, but you can save it onto your phone. So I use mine as a web app. Yep. So if I have a quick search, how many places have been rated? Click on find restaurants. It doesn't actually flash up. On the desk on the desktop it'll tell you how many have been rated, but the mobile version is a little bit shorter. Never mind, that's okay. Yes. Lovely to talk to you, Laura. Thank from you Ambient so much. Menu. So it's ambientmenu.com.au. That's it. All right. So if you want a nice, quiet place to go and eat and be able to hear what everybody is saying, yes. head over to ambientmenu.com.au. Yes. And check us out on the socials because we also have a lot of uh, fun videos and interactive comment, um, content. So you're on Facebook? Facebook, Insta. Yep. Not big audience on Insta, but mainly Facebook. And on there, I do a lot of videos about how to find a quiet restaurant if you don't have the choice in, you know, where to dine out that night. Yep. If it's, you know, not your birthday, you may not get the choice. Um, so if you are going somewhere that you know is a bit more moderate or lively, it'll give you some tips on where to sit in that restaurant to put the odds in your favour. Great. Thanks again, Laura. Off to eat somewhere now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm off to work. Very good. That's, that's great.